I'm abandoning my cappies. <laughs> and here you go. She's on grazing duty right now. The most friendly cappy. This is a bullfrog. My precious baby girl. Is she just eating that mud? There's all three of the gar right there. I'm fishing for cappy poop. Standing on the table. Gonna start fighting any time now. Good morning, everybody. And I'm telling you, there is no better time to be alive than on a cool morning in the summer in Texas. Especially when it's the day after a storm and my little Patrick boy is safe and sound. I know this boy is completely wean because I go a day without giving him a bottle and he poops twice as much. Pretty soon all these poles are going to be in the ground here and over there for our flight pen and then we can start rehabilitating like I said any rafters but especially with that 50 foot flight pen over there we'll be able to take care of everything except for eagles. Gustavo here is doing well. He enjoyed a little bit of that rain and we didn't get too much in here. I'm still planning on decorating this thing and setting it up with a bunch more space for him to get out of the water but he's just fine for now. Well then there's a little sight for sore eyes. Oh, that's a nice big hole you're digging there. Is she just eating that mud? I think she is. No, she's making mud. Very cool. Look at her kind of pushing in the mud with her face, you guys. It's so neat. Nothing like watching this adorable little creature dig herself a little hole. And Cringe is now way friendlier with me. I left the cappy thing open last night and Billy Eyelash is hanging out in there. The water in the goose area is nice and full again. Okay, calm down, calm down. I'll give the geese this water because the cappies aren't gonna eat it. But isn't that nice, you guys? They're pooping there instead of in my barn now. Okay, children, here you go. We should have a little watermelon patch in here. Don't worry, Petunia, I'll give you some as well. But look how beautiful this is with the dew, you guys. Man, I wish I could make you guys smell this. It's amazing. This is really the only nice time to be awake this time of year here in Texas. And look at all these beautiful flowers we have for my bee. And every one of these flowers is a delicious little morsel for the beehive that I have in the back. I let the cappies stay out overnight, and they have tons of food to eat here. I hope that they don't chew up my trees, but they have tons of grass to mow down. I kind of need them to stay out here for at least a little bit so they can cut this grass down. Look how beautiful this is. With all the dew on the grass and everything, it's delicious. As you guys know, the baby gets along really well with the cappy, so I don't have to worry about them fighting at all. And honestly, I don't think these guys have even gone swimming yet. Just to make sure, I'll check the intake bay and see if there's any poopies from these boys. I think it's also high time I stocked this thing with minnows, because I haven't seen a ton of minnows in here in a while. Just kidding, there's a lot of poop in here. There's a bunch right there and right there but you know what that's not too bad i think i'm actually gonna get some tilapia because i read that they eat the poop but that cleanup was quick and easy but man i really wish i could just train the cappies to poop somewhere that isn't in the pond either way though we have this huge filter here and it should be fine even if i let them out here for a whole week we got a nice little low hanging fruit here i'm afraid these guys are gonna eat this and you know even if they eat some of the leaves that's okay as long as they don't eat all of them and as long as i can at least get one of these sweet sweet peaches before the end of the year because the baby took the last plum i had on that one but you know things are healthy and that we're getting plenty of rain whenever you see these little fellas coming back on the rock just look at this you guys it's beautiful the next few days it is gonna get real nasty and very hot so i'm gonna go ahead and let these guys stay out here keep all this grass and the weeds trimmed a little bit well, even the moss is coming back good morning homelander for some reason the emus are drinking out of this little pond in the back instead of their little trough that I have for them too. Big, beautiful birds. And we have all these random flowers. Every oh, see guys, see, we have these everywhere. We have these tiny little toads that hatch from the tadpoles. All those tadpoles we had turned into these adorable little toads. And we have these things everywhere on the property now. But all right, good night, everybody. Oh, looks like we're about to witness these boys taking a dip. Oh, are they pooping? Yeah, he's pooping and peeing. No. Yeah, they came in here just to poop and pee. At least they're doing it right in the intake bay, I guess. Pob and Queeb are just sleeping in there right now. Look at Queen. Good thing is I have this little net so I can just scoop the poops out as they come in. The bad thing is I still have to scoop the poops out as they come in. But it's kind of fun, you guys. It's like going fishing. Take a look at this. I'm fishing for cappy poop. And also, this is probably some of the best fertilizer you could buy. Maybe I could find something that could automatically
automatically skim the poop out. Oh, there's a nice one. And this little man's just coming over to me. But let me know what recommendations you guys have for this process. I'm thinking about getting some tilapia. What other fish eat poop like this, you guys? Well, guys, I've been doing this for about five minutes now, and their continuous stream of poops floating down the river has not stopped. I'm honestly considering bottling and selling this feces. Oh, but look how precious these guys are just swimming around. Wow, they're completely underwater now. It's crazy how long they can hold their breath under there. They're just little beavers. It's only a matter of time before these boys start fighting each other again, too. And I'm gonna have to jump in there and break it up, probably. But I love seeing the baby up there just drinking water while these flappies swim around. I wonder what the gar think of these guys. Oh, there's so much over here. Well, I suppose I can feed it to my plum tree. Oh, some cocoa puff. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how cute they are. Good morning, little clappy blappies. Oh, look at that boy under the water. And say what you will, haters, but this is a better setup than most zoos have. Oh, look, there's the gar, there's the gar. This is actually a better setup than most zoos have for capybars or kangaroos. But this is better than a zoo enclosure for more cappies than this even. I still don't know what this little bubble is that's coming up here. Ooh, look at that boy. I can already smell it. They're gonna start fighting any time now. These boys go from playful wrestling to fighting in two seconds. Please refrain from biting into each other's flesh again. Also, last night was a great success. I got a lot of good footage filmed for the Capybara Land Mukbang channel. Hey there, couldn't help but notice you hadn't subscribed. <laughs> But okay, guys, this is fighting an uphill battle. I'm going to let these guys swim around in here for today. I'll let the intake bay do its job. And as this thing fills up with poop, we'll come out later today and see how bad it is. Oh, they're getting the zoomies now. But also, you guys can already tell, since I started doing the Capybara Mukbang channel, these guys are so much more friendly with me. Oh, there's all three of the gar right there, you guys. Look at them. That's so cool. They're schooling. But all right, fellas, that's it for now. I'm heading up to Dallas to see if I can get a new vehicle for the rescue. Oh, my gosh. I love that they let me get so close to them in the water now. In the next video, I'll be swimming with them. Oh, wow, guys. Look how big Gordon Quandale are now. If it isn't Kumala trying to eat my plum tree. But look at those gar, you guys. That's beautiful. Wow, it's so fun to herd them, too. Sadly, once I get these guys over to here, getting them into their little pen is a lot harder than it sounds. I don't even want to jinx it, but they're actually being perfect right now. Oh, my gosh. This literally never happens, you guys. That never happens. Wow, and it was just that easy easy that's amazing i'm gonna let the other grazing animals out soon so that we can cut down all this foliage guys we still have some big fish in here too i keep seeing huge ripples every now and then so whatever fish we have in here are crazy hardy but okay looks like the geese are done eating the majority of this i'll leave a little bit for them but i'm gonna give the rest of this to petunia because she's my precious baby girl and she's also gonna eat all these seeds and poop them and then we're gonna have a ton of watermelons growing in here the apple tree is doing well without anything eating its leaves and I don't really need to worry about watering it. Pretty soon, it's going to have roots that go straight into this pond. But all right, everybody, that's it for now out here. Oh, dang it. I forgot about her. Look, she's waiting for me to let her out. But look, guys, that's the sun up there. See? Because the sun there's behind a cloud, we can stare directly at it. I have the cappies distracted with that little alfalfa bale over there. I gave them a brand new alfalfa orchard bale. And while they're chewing on that, I'm going to see if I can get this little fella to leave. She's on grazing duty duty right now outside. You know what? Maybe we should get about 20 more of these. Even if we had 10 kangaroos here, it would still be a way better exhibit than the Pittsburgh Zoo because they have about 10 of them in a space this size with no grass. At least the last time I checked, I was a little kid back then. Who knows? But all right, these boys will be just fine in here for now, at least while I go out of town. But I'm taking you guys on an adventure today. We're going to Dallas. Oh, the whistling ducks are back and they're looking at my pond. Look at this boy. He's circling my property. I think he's going to land on the pond. But before I leave, I'll give you guys some Biggerton Ounserton Yahoos. <laughs> Can we have another one, sir, please, before we leave, sir? Just one more Yahoo, my king. Please, please give us one more Yahoo, Mr. Ounce. Oh, fine, whatever. This is what I do whenever I have to leave, when I can't supervise him. Because I don't want him inside fighting with the cats or chewing on any cord. My son Patrick here likes to hang out in Ounce Topia nowadays. So I put this chair here so that if the wind closes these doors, he doesn't get stuck in there and die from heat stroke. But all right, goodbye, Mr. Patrick. I love you, I love you, I love you. 
<laughs> Look at this weird wild sunflower that just grew right here on my driveway. He says, please, father, take me with you. And Mr. Ounce is perfectly content to just sit here in all this new hay that I gave him and get morbidly, morbidly obese. So well, here it is, you guys, Dallas, Texas, one of the most congested cities in North America. I might just make Uncle Ben crash if you don't subscribe to Capybara Mukbang. And there's still this many people driving around. I took a quick driving break to sleep at this furniture shop and they had a little taxidermized big ounce and a taxidermized Patrick. And this is what Patrick will look like when he's fully mature. Okay, it's tomorrow now, everybody. Take a look at this. This is the newest installment in my Waco, Texas compound. This is gonna be a large pre-release enclosure for oxes and other little boys like coyotes. That tree's gonna die now. Here's a little toad boy that looks like he got stuck in here. Get out of there, buddy. Gustavo seems to be enjoying the weather pretty well in here. Also guys, check this out. Look who just comes up to me for pets nowadays. This man is so friendly with me now that I can just come up to him and give him a little pet and he doesn't care. Who'd have thought that Kumala would end up being the most friendly cappy of all of them? And while I'm filling this up, these guys are just gonna have to sit here and wait. But all right, this is filling up and the cappies are drinking the Wamdefo today. Oh, I sure do love each and every one of these little fellas. But now that they're all together like this, you guys, how many do you think are boys and how many do you think are girls? This one's definitely a boy. He's got that big old nose. I think maybe one or two of these other ones might be boys as well. But there's nothing quite like seeing all of them together here in the same spot. And they all let me pet them now. That's awesome. Starting that Capybara Mukbang channel really did numbers for my relationship with these guys. So thank you guys if you subscribe to Capybara Mukbang. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this fill up. These guys now hang out in here, but they've made my bathroom a mess. But at least they're friendly with me now and they're about ready to go to their new home yeah this is a bullfrog i don't know why he's making all these weird little oh he's making all these noises i got gotcha. you this is a bullfrog right you guys he was just right over here by gustavo's enclosure oh wouldn't mind feeding him to gustavo just kidding you guys i don't know what he's doing here though i'm gonna go put him in the pot look at this goofy little man all right little man here we are but i'll just go ahead and put him right there i finally was able to find a photo of big ounce building my house so here's me doing it as well we both build it together and now i have these alligator farming tubs look at this man just standing on the table and i'm sick of them but that's it for now though you guys i love you i appreciate you Thank you so much for watching my video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Ah!